Here's my opinion on unitaskers. It's a hit or miss. We're gonna see if any of these four unitaskers will be my skill with a knife. Simple as that. So we got the Chefin corn unitasker at $8. And then we got the Chefin garlic chopper for eight bucks as well. The one that I'm really excited for is this toadfish, shrimp, deveiner, and peeler all in one. This goes for $28 and it's supposed to peel and devein your shrimp in one motion. And finally, we have the microplane herb mill that strips and chops your herbs for 20 bucks. All right guys, starting with corn. We'll start with the unitasker and move on to the knife. Oh my God. Okay, little bit of a learning curve. I'm sorry, I can't help myself because look at that. Time, 43 seconds, and I made a hot mess. 43 seconds, really fast, created a little bit of a mess, a little bit of loss of product, but it was very incredibly fast. So this is my corn trick. I, two bowls, this is something that you have at home, you don't need to buy a gadget for it, and a knife, that's it. Ready, go. One, All right, I guess this one's making a little bit of a mess too. All right, time. All right guys, 32 seconds. I beat the unit tasker, which I'm so happy about. I made a little bit of a mess. Corn is just messy. I just think that I'm concerned with this because it's just one size and corn is all different sizes. And obviously that was what I was struggling with. Like, look at this. I don't know what happened. What is really annoying about chopping garlic? It makes your hands smell, it makes your board smell and it's just really annoying to do, right? So this guy might be the savior. You just put your garlic in, roll, and there you have it, chopped garlic. If it works, go. Stuffing my gadget. Okay, let's do it like this. There's one. Pretty good. Very obnoxious. I'm just gonna cut this one because it's very large. Two. Time. A minute and five seconds. Actually, I'm pretty impressed by this. It actually, it actually works. I was very skeptical to be honest, but the chop is really nice. It's pretty even. The only annoying thing about it is that if your clove is too large, you would have to cut it with a knife anyway. Now I'm a little nervous about the knife thing. We're doing this. Now I've chopped a lot of garlic in my life. Go. Six seconds, baby. And yes, I was faster than the unit tasker, but my hands are very garlicky. Probably gonna smell like garlic for the next 24 hours. And so is my board. I like this gadget because it's just clean and easy to use. All right, so we got our microplane, herb stripper, and chopper. Three different types of herbs, parsley, thyme, rosemary. We'll go straight through and just see some, you know, different types of herbs that you can use. Nice, so the stripper worked really well. Not that great. I feel like it's really just bruising the, the herbs. Okay, I think I'm good. Time. A little concerned with this because I feel like it's not gonna sh No, it worked. All right, time. And then parsley, we'll just do that. Not that great. It's mushing the parsley and it's like way too wet right now. This thing is so obnoxious. My arms are killing me. <laughs> okay, I think, I mean, the rest is like pretty smushed. Done. That was really bad, I know. My immediate thought is that the rosemary, it worked, but it's all uneven. There's like really long ones, there's short ones. The thyme, you still have a lot of timelies left on the stems, 
And then of course some just went through it and then yeah, very uneven product. Parsley, way too wet, it has too much moisture. So it was just getting smushed and with herbs like honestly, you don't want to bruise them and that's what this was doing. Not a fan. Also my arm is killing me. Okay, ready, set, go. It was just that easy. I think this is easier than the stripper. Yeah, I think that's good, right? Rosemary, done. Time. I mean, stripping time is, is a little bit annoying just because it's super delicate. You can do it with your fingers, no problem. Done. Parsley. See guys, that's all it takes. I don't need a gadget for this. I'm done. Minute and 26 seconds, you guys. I'm sorry. I love the brand Microplane, but this one is just like a real for me. All right, so I am very excited for this one actually. It's the shrimp debainer peeler all in one. It takes freaking forever to peel and debain shrimp. It's just annoying. No one likes doing it. Go. Okay, a little bit of a learning curve here. That's all right, all right? Okay, you just gotta be careful. A little bit concerned about the shape of the shrimp keeping intact, but besides that, really fairly easy to use. Like that's crazy, that's it, dude, no vein. It takes a little bit of time to get used to because seafood is delicate and you don't want to ruin the shape. But nonetheless, very easy. And there we go. Minute and 24 seconds. I would say that's pretty quick. Now, obviously the first one is a little bit kind of messed up just because I had to learn how to use it. But it still peeled and deveined it perfectly. Go. like riding a bike and it sucks. <laughs> Not a good bike. I hate doing this honestly with your hands. It's like just gets really messy. I mean definitely doable, it's just not that pleasant. Okay, time. A minute and 30 seconds. Really not that far off. But I think it's because I had a little bit of a learning curve with the shrimp debainer. But if you're doing like a hundred shrimp, in the end, it will just be like muscle memory, super quick. Like I said, with unitaskers, it's a hit or miss and a lot of them were misses. But with some unitaskers like this one, it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching the Kitchen Gadget Test Show. For more videos like this, click here.